Jay Clark here. We're going to do a few tips on uh, chain and sprocket upgrade. We're going to put a Renthal chain and sprocket front and rear uh, on this KXF 250. So first we remove the master link. You pull the clip. And then on a stock one like this, something like this, the, the stock plate should come right off. And since we're going to put the stock the same gearing on, we'll probably just match up this chain to this to the next chain and cut the chain to this length right here. We'll pull that off. So we'll just pop open the new chain box. Uh, the Renthal ones come with a uh, set of little gloves you can throw on, keep your hands a little cleaner. And, and if you're not running the same gearing, uh, it wouldn't be a good idea to break your chain this way. Since we're running the same gearing, we're going to break it right here on the bench. We know how long to, to make it, so it'll make it easy. If you're going to change your gearing, uh, you could uh, you just do it on the bike and match it up, and you cut the chain right there. So now we found our mark where we need to cut the chain, and Motion Pro has a cool little chain breaker. It works really simple. As long as you do it right, you make sure the pin is inside and you guide it down with the pin inside and then it's butted up against the chain so that's all snug now and now you'll okay so at this point now you snug the bottom one just barely snug and now you can drive just the top one you drive it down it'll push, push the pin right on out of the chain and uh, really nice easy tool to use um, if you don't have this tool uh, there are guys that grind the chain off uh, those types of things. Um, I don't think the chain, the, this thing's, you know, 20 or 30 bucks from Ocean Pro if you don't have one. Okay, so at this point, we just keep driving it and driving it, and you'll feel it just pushing the pin all the way through the chain. And it, it takes a bit of turning. It's a, it's a long ways, but it gets uh, easier once it's popped through. And you'll have to loosen the, the bottom bolt and back it all the way out to get the chain out. So now, now at this point, we're going to go ahead and pull the wheel off and install the new disc. We'll wait to put the chain on until we have our wheel back on just to make life a little bit easier. We're going to move the uh, chain guide and uh, guard to uh, remove the front uh, sprocket. On the Kawasaki's, they use little clips. So you need some little pliers to carefully remove the clip. You just set it down. Pull the stock one off. Install the Renthal right on, and then right back on with the clip. So, so now at this point, we've made sure the clip fits in there nicely. We're going to put a little, little bit of silicone uh, gasket sealer. We just put a little bead around the clip. What that keeps the clip from bouncing around and less chance of it ever coming off, uh, you know, with a rock or mud or dirt getting jammed in there. And it's also a good visual way when you're washing the bike, you will to see that you're uh, your little bead of silicone is still there, and uh, you can keep an idea that the uh, the clip's not moving around. And just make sure you get the uh, the wiring there, that you get it nicely in between when the space is supposed to go. You don't get it pinched in there and cut any wires. Kawasaki's have a cotter pin stock um, nut. Still haven't upgraded to a, like a locking nut like a Honda, um, so kind of a pain. Um, so we remove that. As an upgrade, we installed the Honda the Honda locking nut. Uh, we just install that on there. They're not very much from Honda. If you have a Kawasaki, you can buy a CRF nut and it goes right on. It's nice to actually have two people do this. We, the way we do it is with, with two guys, and so we're going to pop these these stock bolts and nuts off right now. So at this point. Just have one guy break loose the bottom. This is if you have a stand, this makes it nice. So at this point, we're going to pull off the stock sprocket, install a new rental sprocket here. Now, at this point, we put a little uh, low strength uh, thread locker, put a little bit on the uh, 
was that convex side of the bolt and a little bit on the threads. This is just low strength. So you could put a little dab in here. Helps keep the uh, sprocket bolts from ever coming loose. Just like that. And then just reinstall. And best thing to do is put them in and get all the nuts and washers all started all the way around. So again here, as he gets it snug, then I just tighten here about arm strength. Then flip around, we'll do a, a opposite side and do the same thing. And I just snug it up. Then we can just work our way around to the rest of them. So we're not putting a lot of pressure on with the, the Allen wrench, which can, can strip out sometimes. So it's better just to tighten up the nut good and tight like that. That one's already good. Like that. And that's it. So now we'll reinstall and install the chain. So just, just clean up the axle nice and clean and then install some uh, new grease on there. Always a good idea every time you have your axle off. Just a good bead all the way up and down. Just like so. Uh, it makes it a little easier if you separate out the brake pads. Just be real careful not to mar up the pads. Just barely uh, spread them apart. Nice, it makes it a little easier to install your, your wheel into the, uh, the disc side. And in this case, since we uh, were going the same gearing and it was basically a new bike, our chain adjustment should be just about the same. We shouldn't really have to move the uh, bolts out or anything. Okay, so at this point we're gonna reinstall the chain. Simple deal, uh, front, make sure you're in neutral. It'll spin the front sprocket. You can walk the chain all the way through. So we wanna make sure that the clip is pointing this way, the opening, so that the, the rounded part is facing this way. So as the wheel spins, there's no chance of it opening the clip up. And just pop the clip back on, we're ready to go. So now we're just gonna adjust the chain just a little bit here and snug up our chain adjuster bolts and then tighten up the nut and we're all good to go. Okay, so that's it for our Rinthal chain and sprockets. We got our uh, new chain and sprockets on. You wanna keep it well, uh, keep on your maintenance on your uh, chain adjustment. Also keep it well lubed with a good uh, lubricant um, on the chain at all times and you're good to go.